Known for its secrecy and restrictions surrounding upcoming military technology, the Russians surprised more than one in July of 2021 when a state-owned defense conglomerate presented its newest and most impressive stealth aircraft. The Sukhoi Su-75, or Checkmate, is a prototype of a single-engine stealth fighter aircraft that was described by Vladimir Putin as a pure demonstration of the full potential of the Russian aviation industry. While many experts have already called its stealth credentials into question, a Western journalist who saw the aircraft in person asserted it will be capable of striking almost 10 targets at the same time, with a state-of-the-art internal weapons bay, missiles, and even an autocannon. The Checkmate is still in development, but the full potential and ramifications of the so-called aircraft of the future might be able to change aerial warfare forever. Russia's newest fighter. In July of 2021, the International Aviation and Space Show, or MAX, was held at the Zhukovsky International Airport, home of the Gromov Flight Research Institute just outside of Moscow. Days before, plane spotters and aficionados flocked to Zhukovsky to take pictures of a new mysterious plane as it taxied to a parking spot across the airfield that has served as Russia's top military aircraft test facility going back to the days of the Soviet Union. During the event, hosted by the government of Moscow and Avia Salon, Russian aircraft manufacturer Sukhoi unveiled the prototype of the newest jet fighter with advanced capabilities, including stealth features. According to Russian media, Sukhoi, the developer of famed military aircraft such as the Su-24 supersonic attack aircraft and the Su-7 supersonic fighter, developed the new model under the LTS program, a Russian language acronym for light tactical aircraft. As stated by the developers during the event, the prototype is expected to make its maiden flight in 2023, with deliveries starting as soon as 2026 in two different designs, an unmanned version and a two-seat model. In the days before the conference, Rushtek, a state-owned holding conglomerate that specializes in investment in defense and high-tech industries, ran an aggressive advertising campaign. With pictures of the newest Russian fighter hidden under a tarpaulin, the advertisement playfully displayed the catchphrase, Want to see me naked, alluding to the prototype's mysterious nature. Also in attendance at the MAX air show was none other than Russian President Vladimir Putin. Upon inspecting the plane during the event's opening, he boldly stated, quote, What we saw in Zhukovsky today demonstrates that the Russian aviation has a big potential for development, and our aircraft-making industries continue to create new competitive aircraft designs. Checkmate. The Sukhoi Su-75, nicknamed Checkmate, is a single-engine stealth fighter aircraft under development for export and for the Russian Aerospace Forces. Stealth aircraft are designed to avoid detection by potential enemies using a series of technologies that reduce emission and reflection of radar, infrared, visible light, radio frequency spectrum, and audio, collectively known as stealth technology. While the United States F-117 Nighthawk was the first operational aircraft of its kind, other countries have followed suit, including China and Russia's Su-57 two-engine stealth fighter. Sukhoi's latest prospective warplane is designed to be both smaller and cheaper than its stealth predecessor. According to official statistics from Sukhoi and Rustek, the Checkmate will reach up to twice the speed of sound, with a range of 1,864 miles and a payload of 16,300 pounds. Diverterless inlet, a V-shaped tail, and internal weapons bays all the features showcased at the Russian air show indicate that they are intended to reduce radar signature, while its vast wing area implies the fighter will be able to fly and engage in combat at altitudes of 40,000 feet or higher. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, a Rushdeck chief executive stated that the Checkmate will carry both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface armaments weighing over 7 tons and will be capable of striking several targets simultaneously with an internal weapons bay, 5 missiles, and an autocannon. According to Yuri Borisov, Russia's deputy prime minister, the Checkmate fighter jet will share most of the same components and avionics as the Su-57, as part of cost reduction methods chosen by the Sukhoi Design Bureau. Due to Russia's restrictions during the air show that prevented clear cockpit photos, Matt Bodner, an NBC journalist and the first Western correspondent that has seen the newest jet in person, provided his employees with a word-by-word -word preview. According to Bodner, the Su-75 Checkmate's cockpit layout is quite similar to Russia's other stealth fighter, the Su-57, with a glass cockpit and two 15-inch main LCD displays. Meanwhile, the jet fighter's electronic infrastructure is apparently made out of the principle of the open architecture and makes use of Matryoshka-style diagnostic systems that are mostly on board. 
And in addition to the unmanned and two-seat variants, it's rumored that a carrier-based version is also under Sukhoi's consideration. An actual stealth fighter. The prospective fighter was built to compete directly with the United States F-35 Lightning II fighter, a new Chinese fighter, and other similar designs. As stated by the head of Rustec Corporation, Sergei Chernozov, the new plane is expected to cost $30 million, becoming a low-cost option for a stealth fighter that is otherwise quite expensive. As such, this new upcoming aircraft is expected to create a niche market for the combat aircraft industry in the export market, offering a lower-cost alternative to more expensive American and Chinese designs. According to Yuri Borisov, the new fighter will also act as a significant export to other countries, expressing hope that the Checkmate will be sold to Argentina, Vietnam, India, and several African nations, with foreign customers expected to order at least 300 of them over the next decade and a half. The jet has also been pitched for export to Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, and several Latin American nations. Borisov also hinted that another foreign customer has already expressed a strong interest in the new unmanned jet after spotting it at the airshow. Although sales of warplanes have accounted for most of Russian weapons exports, other Sukhoi models have faced growing competition over the years in global markets. Still, after the fighter was displayed for the first time on foreign soil during its participation in the November 2021 Dubai airshow, many have called its actual stealth credentials into question. From the failed Iran 9 infantry robot that garnered global headlines to the Checkmate's older sibling, the Su-57, Russia has a reputation for exaggerating the features of their latest defense technologies, dating all the way back to the Soviet Union era. As such, Rushdeck and Sukhoi have tiptoed around the topic of whether or not the Checkmate actually possesses stealth technology. Even Russian state-owned media reserves the use of the word stealth surrounding the aircraft, but from time to time, they do refer to the Checkmate as a fifth-generation fighter. On the other hand, the international press usually refers to the Sukhoi prototype as stealth. In September of 2021, as an attendee at an oil and gas forum event, Borisov responded to press questions about Checkmate and Russia's plans for the prototype. Upon being questioned about an actual timeline, Borisov made it clear that production was predicated on finding foreign buyers, and he too avoided calling it stealth or even a fifth generation fighter. Whether or not the Su-75 Checkmate will actually be a budget-busting stealth fighter remains to be seen, as the prototype will have to enter actual production first. Thank you for watching our video. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And for more exciting military-inspired stories, don't forget to subscribe to this and all of our Dark Documentaries channels, and hit the notification bell to be notified of our newest content. Stay tuned.